out and in the bathroom he piece in the Chattanooga Free Press a couple weeks ago. That's when he told me that if they moved the nerves into the chest muscle, that theoretically I could operate a prosthetic and, you know, and have anything to lose and everything to gain. So we, uh, we decided to go on with it. It's just about that. Which is a good time to take a break and let you guys talk. Having had done the surgery and have him recover, and then the first time we hook him up and he thought close hand, and his hand closed, and so that was very exciting. And all I'm doing is, thank you, I'm just opening, closing my hand, elbow down, elbow up. Close my hand, open my hand, I can switch to wrist and I can, I can control the rotation of that wrist just by opening and closing my hand. The technique we've developed we call targeted re -innervation. And the idea is that although you may have lost your arm, the nerves going to the arm are still there. They're just no longer connected to your muscle and skin. And it's the nerves that, that contain all the information you need. But how do you get to that information? Well, the approach we're using is to take those nerves and transfer them to spare muscle and skin. They were doing, uh, they hooked me up to all these, they had all these electrodes on me, and they had me go through all So when he thinks close hand, um, the nerve makes this piece of muscle contract and we can pick up electrical activity when the muscle contracts using little electrodes like these. We then use that signal um, to have a computer tell his hand to close. So he thinks close hand and his hand closes. I can pick that napkin up just as easy. And it I had to learn how to lift the elbow without making the hand open or close. And uh, so the, those nerves are so close in there that they will, one will kind of give the other one a, uh, if you close too hard, well, it'll make the elbow jump a little, or if you lift the elbow uh, too hard, it'll uh, make the hand pop open. So it, uh, uh, but the way they talk with the technology they have, that the computer will learn to recognize what I'm trying to do. And uh, instead of me trying to figure out what the arm wants to do. So this technology allows you to do it naturally. You think close hand, your hand closes, as well as at the same time. Jesse can move his elbow and open and close his hand at the same time. Um, so it allows for simultaneous control. And then this enables him to do the things he does at home, including painting his fence and um, doing housework and working around his yard and um, picking things up. That's what this technology enables, a more full life. Body English, and, <laughs> and of course, then if you needed to, to change it around, like to get it a different position, you could, you know. And uh, so, reaching up high is the uh, like I say, you have to set the shoulder many different places. And the arm, and you can't just roll up and down. You'd, You'd like to think you could, but you can't do it because you get too much involuntary motion out of it. That's a big achievement right there, being able to go around like so when they come up, you know, because you get up further up like so. So I like to have to set up the computer. It's set up a little differently. You can't have a zero and one. They're not mutually exclusive anymore. Oh, I see. Everything's trial and error, um, we're, but we're, we've been blessed at how well it worked. I mean, the first time we fit Jesse, the fact that we got it working within a, a couple of three weeks amazed us. Um, now, he went home and, uh, you know, quickly broke it apart by trying to start the lawnmower, but that's okay because he was actually using the thing. Like I said earlier, our soldiers that are coming home, you know, if my being this way benefits them, Rather than be in the ground, then great. If it, if it makes life better for them, wouldn't that be great? You know, and from this day forward, from, from 2003, when I got that first arm, prosthetics will never be the same. It's, a, it's amazing what they can and what they, you know, what's on there.
agenda to do. It's, you know, it's, that's like, uh, I guess, back in the, in the, 